Okay, today, so we're looking at can the answer to chess be refuted? I've had a few challenging comments per se regarding the answer not being a real thing. I would just say have a look at all the videos, especially you know the complete answer to chess that we've worked through, and the concepts unfortunately cannot be refuted because it's the essence of chess the idea of putting pressure onto the king simple and straightforward the idea of pressuring key areas key spaces hmm, key areas key spaces cannot be refuted because that is what all chess players are wanting to do they're wanting to get the best position the best space take control or manage areas on the board so the answer is just basically that it's just trying to improve on how you manage the board to get pressure towards the king area let's double these pawns here now loads of access towards the king so he's probably going to go queenside castling now I'm going to bring the bishop here to be a bit of an annoyance he may just bring the bishop or block with the knight so he doesn't let's just exchange keep it simple trading down and let's go for knight development and he's going for the queenside castle like we said so yes in order for us to understand what the answer really is just look at any chess game any chess game that anybody is playing and the person who is taking the mantle and actually winning out will be using the answer more appropriately the essence of the game is to put pressure on the king to get the king into checkmate so the answer is not anything new it's just outlining the objective of the game of chess let's just bring this here so this knight now is going to be a little bit overworked and it's looking for this pawn here but it's uh, we're looking to try and potentially trap it but it's going to escape but in the meantime let's try and traverse the king up into the center and yeah he's moving it because he, he's realizing it could get trapped at any stage let's go here so now what he's got is we've got both pawns equal on this side here and he's got double pawns on this side so we should in essence really see how his knight is kind of in this position whereby he can't go there unless of course one of these pawns disappears so if we move our king over to start looking to challenge now they're having a panic because our king is coming over don't think the king can do a right a lot to it if we look at it properly if we move the king here the knight doesn't have to move because we're not pressuring it at the moment so we'd have to move a pawn up but he'll have his pawn here so I'm going to show you what I mean we're going to move the king over like we are going to attack the knight okay so now I'm going to push him if we push this pawn this pawn takes our king takes and then the knight comes around and escapes is there something else that we can do could we bring our knight into the game just bring it up up, up one to try and get a better balance and start challenging these pawns here with our knight He's going to have to bring his king to win a tempo. So we'll leave the knight there feeling it's kind of trapped, which it is. So bring the knight across now and just challenge this pawn here. Now he's coming down and wants to get his knight free. He wants to get it away. So if we do capture, it's probably better for us because he's just going to drop his pawn. Then our king goes down and he's, he's keeping his knight safe. So he's still going to get his knight away because when we capture his pawn takes we don't have to take back we can push up but then we fall into this situation again where the pawn drops down so it looks like the knight has escaped let's capture because we've got this pawn here that we can take with the knight and like we say let's go we can go just thinking out loud thinking out loud if we pushed this pawn up then if he takes 
then we take. His knight still escapes. If we push the pawn up, maybe he takes on this side. Hmm, looks interesting. If we take, his knight has got a check on us. Let's go with the take. Let's go here. Don't want to overcomplicate it. We nearly got the knight, but they had such a panic that they've obliterated all their pawns really on this side here. And these pawns as well. So now our king knight can come up. No pressure whatsoever on this particular knight. We can move it to here, keep it safe. So now we have a passed pawn. And again, the opponent is um, showing some serious panic mode going on. And let's start pushing this pass pawn up and push onto the knight. Knight's probably going to put a check on our king. So we'll just come across here. King probably drops to save it. Just bring the knight up with a check on the king. Okay, so now we can win them. And they've resigned. So the answer to chess can't be refuted because the answer to chess is the object of chess. Putting pressure onto the um, king, checks first. Yep, checks, captures, threats, supporting, blocking, all those basic candidate type maneuvers. They're all following the answer to chess process. Um, I've not created it. I'm just using the answer to chess because it's highlighted in, in my own journey this is how people are actually beating people they're using those processes better more cleverly and even more simplistically as well